before the video starts, make sure to join the Slice Melon Discord server displayed on screen. It's a great community where you can share your work, get advice, and more. We hope to see you there soon. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a coin vector using Photopea. If you don't know how to get onto Photopea, I'll link it in the description, but you just go to photopea.com. Okay, to start off, we want to go to new project and click here. Once you've done that, you should copy my settings. You don't have to copy the width and height, but make sure the DPI is 300. Once you've done this, click create. Now I'm going to create a new layer. Then we want to go to our shape tool. It would look like a rectangle when you first start, but if you go down and click ellipse, you will get what you need. Now, if you go to fill at the top, click here and choose a yellow color for your coin. I think this looks nice, so I'm going to press OK. Then if you hold shift and drag, we'll make the circle. Now you've done this, you can create an inner circle if you press Ctrl J. Double click on the little shape icon on the layer. Then drag the color down. Press OK. Now you want to go to your handles here. If these don't show up, click Transform Controls at the top. Hold down Alt on your keyboard and drag the circle in. Now you've done this, we're seeing sort of a 2D coin icon, but we want to make it 3D for this tutorial. So next, we want to duplicate this back circle again by pressing Ctrl J on our keyboard. Now you want to go here, double click on the layer, change the color. Then you can use the arrow keys to find your shape. And then just drag it so the perspective's like this. Now, that's pretty basic. Some people will leave it like this, but we're going to go a bit further. If you go to your pen tool, you can press P on your keyboard or select it here. Then this will be on path. Change it to shape. Then change your fill color. Click here. Change it to the back color. Now you've done this, press OK. Now this part's the difficult part. You want to zoom in. Click on any point on your original circle and then connect it up on this side. This might take a few tries and that's okay. Okay. And then we want to take this shape that we just created and drag it underneath. We zoom out, that looks good, but we want to zoom in and fix this here because our shape's a bit messed up. So if you hold control on your keyboard, press this dot, and I'm just going to bring it in. Now, if we line it up a bit better. Okay, that looks good to me. So we want to go to the other side at the top. Get this color again. You can do that by pressing the eyedropper tool or pressing I on your keyboard. Then go to the shape tool, pen tool, sorry. Make sure it's on shape still. Zoom in. Select a point on your shape and a point on your shadow. And connect it up. Now I'll take this to the back and I'm just going to fix those edges quickly. Right, that looks how I want it to now. So now we're going to add some effects to make it look a bit better. First off, we're going to go to these three layers at the bottom, select them, merge layers. This will just make it one shape, which means we can edit it all at once instead of three times. 
But now we've done this, we want to go here to the middle circle. Double click on the layer to open blending options or right click and press blending options here. Then we're going to add an inner shadow. We want to change the blend mode to overlay, make the color black. Change the distance so that it's coming out of this side. But then we want to change the angle so it looks something like this and change the size. This just makes it look a bit more 3D. You can copy my settings if you want to. That looks a bit better. So now we're going to add the gradient to this part. So again, come to this layer, right click, blend in options, gradient overlay. Make sure this is on overlay or you won't see anything. And then it should look something like this. I like that, but I'm going to add more effects. So I'm going to add an inner shadow to this one as well. But this time, I'm going to change it to normal so I can see it. Change the distance to zero and make it an outline around the edges. I'm going to change that back to overlay. Turn it down and make the color white. Then I'm going to do an inner shadow again, but on the back part. This time, change it to black. And make sure the opacity is down. If we go here, blend in options again, gradient overlay, and this time reverse the gradient and turn it quite down. And that's really it. That's a coin vector with only three shapes. You can group this, you can right click, or you can press on all three, press Ctrl G. That will group it into a folder. Then you can drag it around like this. You can also add the stroke to the whole shape if you want. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.